Yo, what's going on everybody? Burn the boats back with another video. Uh, this time around for the roulette challenge. I think today I'm just going to throw back to uh, an old classic that I really enjoy playing. We're going to jump into the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, and we're just going to randomize the characters. And we're just going to do a run and see uh, how long it takes us for... How long it takes us to beat the chest. So it's a very standard run. Uh, hopefully it won't won't be worth too much on, on this spin here. Uh, for every death, it's going to be minus 10 gamer points like it was um, for the Spelunky Challenge. Oh boy, okay. So 3 to 1 odds. I would say... Alright, yeah. Very exciting. I would say that... Um... Yeah, let's boot up the game here. Alright boys, here we go. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Plus, uh, you'll have to forgive the fact that I don't have a complete game file here. I'm only stuck on uh, the early stages of, of unlocking. This is probably the third time I start the game over um, through different platforms. I had it on the, the PS4, then I sold my PS4, had it on Xbox. I got a 1001% on Xbox and then uh, got it on PS4 again and, and this time I'm on the PC. Um, unfortunately I don't have a complete file. So with three to one, I think what we're going to do here is just one attempt. It's just one. We're just going to have one go at it. I was thinking of putting myself on a timer. The only thing is when you start a run, um, if you make it far, it, odds are you're going to, you know, you're going to take quite some time to get there. And I don't want this video to be, you know, an hour long and, uh, and we're still struggling to start a run. So. We're going to just go with, with the one run. We got one attempt to get this through. Uh, if we die, that's it. That's the end of the video. And we lose our chance to, to triple up here. So um, the one thing I'm kind of... I, I'm still trying to figure out with the uh, the whole bankroll system is that, you know, based on the wheel spin at the start of every video, all we can really do is, you know, always put our standard... 100 gamer point wager on the line and and it's only the the winnings that can change so oh my gosh so when i'm doing an easier challenge like like an isaac run for example um you know to have three to one odds on my initial wager right now just to to win a run seems sort of unfair i just feel like you know doing one run and and kind of Pretty much guaranteeing myself uh, profit on the week seems a little iffy. So I'm, I may have to retool that in the future. At least for January, it's only uh, we only got one week uh, for this month's challenge. So we're already in the positive. Uh, this is kind of a, a trial run, I guess you could say. So if uh, if we were to, to you know win this run here, we'd be safely in the in the green, and uh, we'd be looking at. Uh, Stress-free Friday. I guess that's the thing, right? If if oh, should I go in here? Oh, not great, not great. I I cannot take damage. Um, my God. Like if we win this run here, we're kind of stress-free going into Friday. But I guess over the course of a month, uh, since we got you know four weeks, four weeks per month, I guess there's plenty of time to you know, dip lower into uh, into your bankroll. But I, I don't know. I'm going to have to retool it, rethink it. Let me know if you guys have any ideas as to how I can, you know, have the, uh, the, I guess the way, I don't want the wager amount to change. I want that to stay. I think I would like to, that to be a flat 100. However, maybe the wheel can be profit or loss. So rather than always being 100 gamer points on the line, um, and then you, you know, winning, winning means you take the multiple that you get on the wheel and losing means you get, uh, you only lose the 100. Maybe we could change that into that determines what you win or lose. So I could, I could lose 300. Let's say if I lost this challenge, I'm going to look into that. I'm going to think about it. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Cause I can't imagine coming up with, I don't want to come up with challenges that are, you know, never possible to, to complete. I'd like it to always, always have some sort of hope, but also, 
it's just difficult to come up with challenges that aren't either way too easy or you know impossible so anyway i'm i'm rambling on i don't know i still don't know if i really you know explain the whole process clearly enough um i'm hoping you know over time we'll get a a better sense of how this all works but uh after monday's video we're in the green right now so uh as long as that you know, stays the way it's supposed to. If we can have a nice little dub dub on this one here, probably choose something uh, quick and easy for this week. Seeing as there's only one Sunday, so like I mentioned in that uh, the description video, essentially every time I'm doing this challenge, it's going to be the the punishment is going to be for the entire month. So over time, you know, I can what's this stud finder. Over the course of a month, I can split, you know, a let's play of a good game or a bad game or whatever in, into four parts, depending on how many Sundays are in the month. Um, so it makes it easier to choose, you know, longer games or the length of the game doesn't really matter. However, with this only being a, uh, a short month, only having the one week trial period here uh, before jumping into February, I think I'm just going to choose a short game as the uh the potential reward or punishment for the week so maybe a game a game i've been meaning to check out is uh is firewatch i've had that downloaded for fuck i probably bought that game years ago my god and uh i've never played it and i've been meaning to to jump into that for quite some time now so maybe that would be the sunday game in the case of a win and in the case of a loss i'm thinking if it has to stay short I don't know, maybe uh, maybe just a short, uh, like, crappy, cheap-ass game that you can find online. Or, I don't know, maybe something like uh, Slender. I don't know, we'll have, to, we'll have to think about that a little bit here. <sighs> anyway, rambling done. Binding of Isaac. I... Man, I started uh, I started playing this back in college. I think it had already been out for quite some time, and I refused to play it. It just didn't look like something I would enjoy. Um, it kind of looked just tedious, like grindy, uh, just because all the videos I was watching, it always happened to be a monstro fight, and uh, with the base stats and in, uh, in rebirth when the game first came out, it was just always like a long fight, and that alone just completely turned me off however with all the mods coming out um, and seeing how many diverse items there are in the game now just adds to the fun your first item can be so damn good It'll, it could also be absolutely miserable so just that element of uh, a variance I guess has uh, kind of turned me on to this game a little bit and like I said I've, I've had this game I've had this game on multiple platforms I had it on, on the the PS4 uh, originally. That's when I, I first got it. Um, and then I... Uh, wait, did I get that item yet? Yeah, I believe I did. Um, this is all crap. Give, give me a reroll here. I Let's get a, a spirit heart, man. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, so then I, I traded in my, uh, I traded in my, uh, my PS4 for an Xbox One, and I got the game on that, and I, I got, uh, 1,001%, completely, um, demolished the game from top to bottom, uh, and then I traded in my Xbox for a PS4 again. Thank you, god damn, man. And uh, that's when I decided to jump back in. At this point, I think I had all the uh, the post-it notes done. But I wasn't done the entire game. And now, recently, in, in the last couple of years, I got a, I got a PC. So I decided to, to throw it on the PC. And uh, this is just as far as I've gone so far. I've kind of got everything. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't want to use my card. I might have to. Ah. Okay. 
Please kill him, dude. This is the worst. He's dead. Oh, yes. Okay, sick. Please. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I've, I've been around the block this game multiple times. Uh, I wish I had a fully unlocked save file right now. For the sake of, uh, of you know, the roulette challenge, being able to ro roll into greed or uh, the lost would be... Would make this a lot more difficult, but unfortunately I'm stuck with the, pretty much the base characters now, so... Um, maybe for the future I'll figure out how to download that damn mod where, uh... Where you have everything unlocked. I tried to do it, actually, and it just, uh... Wasn't working out for me, so... Alright, getting a second heart... Fame is good. I think. However... Get me out of here. Oof, I was scared. If I hit the spikes, that, that was curtains for the run. <laughs> Whew. All right. So I'm not sure if, if a fame, uh, I think that's what it's called, or how you pronounce it. I don't I don't know if it, it gives you black hearts at all. And it only works when you take a hit. So, Oi! so hopefully it won't... Uh, wait, did I not use my... I didn't use this on the boss fight. I didn't have to, I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yes. So when you take damage, the ring comes out and you can get some black hearts. So that's actually clutch. I need to get to that heart. Please. Thank you. All right. Easy peas. Um, nice. All right. Lilith is probably one of the characters I hate the most. I'm I hate not being able to shoot tears out of my eyes. Um, it's extremely annoying. I'd say, I'd say, she's the character I hate the most. I have actually grown to enjoy playing as the Lost uh, when you have Holy Mantle. Before unlocking Holy Mantle with the Lost, it's it's a crapshoot. It sucks. Uh, Greed is probably my second least favorite. Um, and then Maggie. I hate Maggie. I'm not a sexist. I just... Maggie sucks ass. Um, any day now. Okay, thank you. Should we check this? That is the worst item in the game. If you're not familiar, all it does is attract enemies right towards you. Uh... Enemies and items, I guess. It just sucks. It's a it's a garbage ass item. I'm gonna use this now because these guys are all pretty tanky enemies. I don't want to take damage on purpose, but I would love another freaking heart. So um, I don't know if if this was a bit of a cop out for our roulette challenge uh, for the week. I feel like anything where you spin. Or you randomize something, just works if it fits into the challenge, right? So to me, this just made sense. It would make a lot more sense if I had a hundred, a thousand and one percent game file. But you know, that being said, I, I think just in terms of diversifying uh, what we're putting out, I was gonna put more Hitman Roulette out. Um, this would have been the first time that Hitman Roulette actually counted towards. Our, uh, our challenge. However, I just feel like uh, I, I don't want to be overly repetitive. I'm, I've only been playing Spelunky, NHL, and Hitman on the channel. So being able to throw something a little different in the mix uh, for this first week would be great. Also, you know, Hitman 3 just came out. I've been playing that a little bit, trying to come up with, uh, with different ways of doing things. I think you're definitely going to see some Hitman, uh, some Hitman 3 in the future. I'm thinking maybe for Friday's episode, I I don't want to spoil it, but uh, there are a couple trophies that are kind of interesting that might be worth a look. Um, not in Hitman 3, but uh, not not yet anyway. I think that's gonna, I'm gonna as I play the game a little more, I'm gonna find um, 
some more unique trophies to, to go for. But the one I found is in Blood Money. So I've been playing uh, the roulette videos you guys have seen were um, from Blood Money, but on Steam. And I recently came across uh, the copy, well, but just by buying Hitman 3, actually, I think. Um, I got my hands on Blood Money, so. Um, and if I didn't, then I just bought it separately. But either way, I, I got the PS4 remastered version. Please give me a heart. However, uh, it's not. Although it's remastered, it's it's still it's tra it looks like trash. Um, but whatever, the game's fun, and now I got trophies to go for. So that's that's exciting. Um, I don't think it had any trophies on Steam, which was disappointing. But again, I, or achievements on Steam. Sorry, but I'm not a fan of uh, of collecting achievements on Steam anyway. I I, I just there's something about the classic. Uh, trophies and achievements on consoles that just really gets my heart going um man i, c I can still remember getting uh you know my xbox 360 and uh i was already at that point before getting a 360 i had the original xbox and i had a nintendo 64 and ever since i was a kid i would print out the list of all the games that existed for the console so obviously this was easier back in like the n64 days because there was a lot less games to, to play than there are now for for these consoles but i would uh i would just print out a list of all the games that existed for the n64 and i wanted to beat every single game and naturally i probably got to like 20 <laughs> probably beat 20 n64 games as a kid, mind you, so like I didn't really understand half of what I was doing. There's this fucking game called um, Buck Bumble, I think, where you're a bee. <laughs> and there was like a mode where you could play soccer as a bee. Man, I tried playing the campaign. I was too young to even understand what I was doing. I was just, I, you know, have one of my buddies come over and we play the, the bee mode. Um, so in terms of like coming up with, with cool challenges for that, it... That didn't really exist quite yet, but I just wanted to beat the game from start to finish. And, you know, if there were collectibles, like Banjo-Kazooie was a classic uh, that I played a shit ton of. Um, you know, in, in that case, I would love to 100% to the game. I think I was even too scared. This is a great item. I was too scared to play Banjo-Kazooie uh, past Clanker's Cavern. It, it was still my favorite game of all time, but I... I would be scared of uh, having to swim all the way at the bottom to <laughs> to free Kank Con what's his name Clanker. So um, anyway, I digress. Um, basically, that's it. I had kind of an obsession with beating games, a hundred percent. And uh, then the original Xbox came out. I did the same thing with that. Printed a list. There were you know a shit ton of games for that as well. Didn't even get close to to anything reasonable i think same thing around 20 games probably um and this is over the course of m many years so pretty pathetic if you ask me however um when the 360 came out i was instantly obsessed uh, with collecting achievements however when the games were like i i wasn't a big fan of like the online multiplayer games because i just sucked uh, Gears of War is an absolute classic when that game came out and you looked at uh, the Seriously achievement that was just pure gold I never got it because I'm trash but I got you know 100 kills with pretty much every item um, which there was an achievement for, for each weapon I mean uh, there was a, an achievement for getting uh, 100 kills with each individual weapon so that was pretty dope um, and then the game kind of died. So I, you know, right when I was sort of getting, I was starting to track, uh, track my kills, but the game didn't track stats the way that games track stats now. So you would get kills in games and you wouldn't be sure if they counted towards the achievement. So some achievements were kind of glitched and I was keeping track on like posted notes of how many kills I was getting in Gears of War online. And, uh, you know, the only modes were Warzone and Execution. So, basically, they were, uh, 
single death. Like Warzone was, you know, you die and you sit there and wait. And then Execution, same deal. So unless you were getting multiple kills per life, you were just a trash bucket. So, yo, what do I do here? I don't really want to reroll my run, man. I have an item that allows me to... Gives me protection against bombs. And I get one that gives me the ability to get some, some soul hearts. So... It, I think I'm... Or Demon Hearts. So I think I'm just gonna... Stick with what I've got here. Um, yeah, so that's... That was kind of like my obsession with, with the Xbox. Uh, Halo came out. I, I, I couldn't even compete in the... The trophies for multiplayer. Like, they were just... Way too good for me. Like, I, I sucked ass at online... At Halo Online, I sucked ass at Call of Duty. Still do. Can you not? Um, so yeah, I was more the completionist type. And then, uh, you know, got to uh, the age of 18. Uh, developed a, an absolute degenerate gambling problem. <laughs> Just completely obsessed with, with gambling and, uh, and adding a... Uh, either a monetary or just rewarding aspect to everything I do. So whether it's, you know, with just chilling with my buddies or, or watching sports or playing sports, I, I always have to have some sort of wager on the line or some sort of challenge in mind. So I figured kill this friggin' dickhead, dude. I just figured that, uh, finding a way to, to mix my gambling nature to my passion for gaming was just kind of the best route to go and to feel kind of more fulfilled making videos and stuff. So anyway, I, I'm still, I'm still working on this whole concept. Obviously this would work better if I had a, uh, a larger audience that could kind of help with suggesting ideas and, and working with the community to kind of plan things out. But for now, you know, we're just kind of, I just want to try to commit to this long term, try to try to see how, how this kind of develops organically. Um, the challenges might get better over time and the, uh, you know, the, the videos themselves might get better over time. And that's kind of just all I'm hoping for. No, no real plans apart from that. I think uh, anybody who, anybody who's into YouTube uh, strictly for for the views and the stats is is gravely mistaken. And I don't think uh, I don't really have any any hopes or anything for this or any you know any plans. Really. Oh fuck that! Anti grav is a piece of shit. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, dog. And this video alone is enough to probably lose any fans that I, or not fans, any viewers that I did have just because I've been talking pretty much about nothing this entire time. But that's exactly what this damn game is. You can't, uh, it's all about the, the banter. And when you're alone, it's about the uh, solo conversations. What else did I do today? <laughs> Apart from sit on my ass and and try to come up with an idea for a challenge. So I live in a uh, I live in a condo building, and uh, every Wednesday for the past month was were days that were where it was possible to throw out your Christmas tree. So the Wednesday morning, this company would come by and grab all the Christmas trees that were left on the curb. However, where I'm at right now, there's there's no there's a curb in front of the building, but um, you know it's kind of a a thin entranceway, um, and there's an underground parking garage where the trash cans are, and the ramp for that is like around the back of the building. Um, and there's another one. So it's like three buildings tied together pretty much. 
and so the other entrance is completely on the other side so i was thinking okay well if that's where they put the garbages that's probably where they put the trees where people drop off their trees and um i just moved into this place in october so i haven't been i'm not you know super familiar with everything quite yet i was just going based on uh an email that we got saying hey bring your bring your trees outside for pickup on these dates so first january first january first wednesday first tuesday night of january which is the first day where they were picking it up picking the trees up i you know i go outside i take a lap i look at all these entrances i don't see a single tree so i'm thinking ah well maybe i'll just wait till next week because i don't want to look like an idiot i don't want to be that guy who you know who puts out his tree at the wrong time and the tree sits there for weeks and I just I don't want to be an asshole, so I was just gonna wait and see. Wait, this was anti-grav. Fuck. I'm just gonna wait till next week. Maybe people just haven't taken their trees down yet. So you know, next week I'll check and I'll put my tree out. So I'm on the the first floor of my building, and I leave. Uh, my tree is just was outside on my on my my patio on my balcony, and you know my balcony is maybe like six feet up from the ground so i'm you know it, it's right there and i'm thinking okay well the day where i want to move it i'm just gonna chuck it over the the railing and then i'll walk out of the lobby of my building and i'll go pick it up on the side of the building and i'll bring it to where it has to go so you know that week i check no trees anywhere i'm like all right i'll wait till next week now the week after that i completely forgot i fell asleep uh Oh, I, so the, the day before, you're only allowed to put it out at 7. But now there's a, a curfew at 8 p.m. For, because of COVID reasons, our whole province is in, uh, Oi! is in shutdown pretty much. And there's a curfew. And everybody has to be indoors as of 8 p.m. And I see police cars constantly driving by. Uh, so I'm thinking, all right saying i'm outside to put out my tree isn't even an excuse if they're they're barely letting people walk their dogs at night so i figure you know 7 p.m i'll have an hour to to bring my tree out so that first week that second week i completely forget and then last week i thought about it uh but it was already like it was midnight so i didn't want to go outside because i could literally see cops driving around i just wasn't in the mood to to deal with that crap and you never really know right like you can you can just innocently walk out of your building and get tagged with a thousand dollar fine for breaking curfew so it just wasn't worth it well frick last night i go out there thinking i'm losing track of the freaking days working from home and shit so i go out and I take a lap, I look, I go to both the ramps to the parking garage uh, to where the, the garbage cans are and I'm looking for a freaking Christmas tree, no, no trees out. So naturally, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of pissed because I'm like, well, now what? I can't just dump it. And then when I came back inside, I realized, well, shit, it's, it's Monday tonight. So obviously, I, I was a day early, like a big idiot. So I decided to... Well, not I decided. I decided to wait till today, and then, you know, today 7 p.m. rolls around. I go outside. I walk around. I take a look. There's not one single freaking Christmas tree. So now I'm, I don't even know if like over the the past two weeks when I missed the the day, if that's when people were putting their trees out, and I could have seen exactly where the trees went. But I didn't. And then uh, so yeah, today I go out. Not one single tree outside. Uh, and it's, you know, 745, so I'm starting to think, okay, well, the cops are going to start patrolling soon, so i got to make a decision. So I freaking get out on my balcony, I chuck the, I chuck the, the tree over the railing, and I, I walked around the entire building. I'm telling you that going around the building, it's probably like, if I go from the front door to my building, around the back to the ramp, and then from there... That, that it's like it's almost like half a kilometer 
It's that long. Maybe not. I'm, I'm exaggerating. But anyway, I, I pick up my damn Christmas tree that's been sitting outside for a month now. It's I'm, I'm getting freaking pine needles all over my jacket. I get some down my shirt. Some in my freaking boots. Pine needles everywhere, dude. And I walk around the entire block. I don't see a single tree. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to the other side. So I walk around the entire building again. So I probably walked for almost an entire kilometer with this goddamn Christmas tree in my arms. People walking by me in the street looking at me like I'm the biggest dumbass that it, in the universe. Cars are driving by. Like, one guy pulled over, asked if I needed help because I looked so retarded doing this. And anyway, I walked all the way around to where the trash bins were on the other side of the building. Didn't see a single Christmas tree. So I said, fuck it. And I just tossed it on the side of the road, just in between two cars. And I just said, fuck it, man. The guy, the, the company can drive by and see this freaking tree and pick it up themselves. Or I will just end up being that asshole that leaves a tree on the side of the road um, without following the proper rules. So, so yeah, that, that's it. That's my fucking Christmas tree story. It's been a pain in my ass. And um, I could have saved myself a bunch of time and, and stress if I just freaking chucked it outside in the first place that first day when I wasn't sure what was going on. That was the most useless anecdote to share. And I'm so sorry that I fucking did that. Um... I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, sick. I love when that happens. Uh, what's this pill? Lemon party. That's good. All right, so runs looking good. Runs looking. Oh fuck off! I, it's taking dumb damage, but uh, I don't think we're in any danger. Are we in danger? I don't think we're in danger, really. We got uh, lots of money, lots of keys. Good. We're our offense is pretty freaking solid. The um, the car battery actually makes it so we use our the friends box or whatever the fuck you call that uh, twice. So we actually got four. Wait, we got three uh, of each familiar following us around so three leeches oh now we're gonna have multiple cubes of meat three succubus okay hang on i don't know okay hold up De death list isn't that great shit i don't want to use i don't know how much hp i have i don't think i want either of these i'm just gonna blow this guy up i death <sighs> Nah, screw it. I don't want it. Let's move. Let's move, baby. So yeah, what is it? We're, what, half hour in? Yeah, half hour in. We're not even at mom yet. This is Lilith, man. You can have a great run. I wouldn't say this is great, but it's... You know, it's better than average. I don't... I haven't been going very fast. Uh, but, you know... I've been going pretty average speed right now and I should I should have gotten close to uh, to boss rush like this is a joke this is taking way too long um, ooh joker I like that don't need anything else uh, yeah no keep joker obviously I just like fuck I I hate this character oh my gosh all right this helps I don't know what's giving me these uh these soul hearts. I feel like I've seen a lot of soul hearts just randomly drop. Um, so I got an idea for a challenge that would be a pretty lengthy one. And I don't know. I don't know if it'd be a, a good thing to try or not. But it's the. Um, I've seen a couple guys, a couple YouTubers do this in the past. The only issue is. I don't have um, all of the games that they 
they played, but essentially it's a a pentathlon where they do you know they play five different indie games, and the goal is basically to get five successful runs, and then when you don't, you start over from scratch. So they were doing uh, Spelunky, Binding of Isaac, and then like other ones that I'm not. I'm not familiar with. So like uh I think they were doing uh dungeon What's that one where like you fight enemies that are bullets? Uh Gungeon? Is it Gungeon? Anyway, that one uh Slay the Spire. Anyway, there there were 5 there were five games, and I only knew two of them. Only knew two of them, and only really liked two of them. Like the, I've seen them play the other ones in the past, and like I just not a big fan. So anyway, it's a cool concept. Maybe I could find some games to sub in instead of that. I just don't know like which indie games would really fit that uh, that style where you do you know a, a roguelike situation. So. I'll have to to dig in. I think maybe that would be a good one to do as like a a milestone challenge, you know? So like um you know, the 10th week, let's say, it'll be challenge week number 10. Uh I don't know, something like that. We'll see. A couple different things planned also for so for my Wednesday episode Wednesday. My Wednesday episodes um this rerolls rocks. Are there rocks anywhere? Okay, you know what? I gotta get out of here. This is the worst. Grab this chick. Um, yeah, so... I have ideas, like, for co-op. Uh, our buddy Cold Sweps has, uh... Is always down to... To hang. So we might... Uh, we have a couple games that we've... Been meaning to play for a while now. And I think, uh... If I want to make sure that... They include challenges the same way that the other videos do. I'm thinking like uh, we might jump into Minecraft, have a Minecraft video go up. I think Human Fall Flat is a great game that we, uh, we've we been playing, that we've enjoyed. Oh, shoot. And um, yeah, so we've got a couple games on the back burner that we'll check out. Um, so stay tuned for those. I just got to come up with specific challenges that I want to... I want us to tackle um, and I'm slowly coming up with the list of trophies um, that I want to get for the chasing platinum series so things are shaping up I think like you know a month ago so I had I'd say like two or three weeks not to take it back about this like uh, breaking the fourth wall shit but um, or that's not it at all that's not the expression I'm looking for uh, not to get too meta I guess Honestly, I don't I don't know expressions. I don't know memes. I'm a fucking plug, okay? So don't worry about me. But a couple weeks before Christmas, I was like, okay, look, the new year's coming up. I've been sort of inconsistent with videos. In the fall, I started uh, just doing regular Let's Plays. So I was doing... Oh, what am I doing, you moron? Um, I was just doing regular Let's Plays of Spelunky and... Uh, random NHL videos and I kind of wanted to change things up so and to, to make it so I had an actual schedule that I could work with um, and okay that was a horrible idea because now oh shoot now I might take damage what is this ancient recall what is this ace of hearts you're useless no I didn't think it would turn everything to hearts I mean, I should have known. I'm an idiot. Damn it. All right. I was going to use that. Okay. We might be screwed here. Oh, my God. We're definitely going to be screwed. We're screwed. Oh, please. You need to. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, Maybe I should shut the fuck up and try to focus on my run here. Um... But no, I'll continue. Uh, basically, I wanted to come up with a consistent schedule where my videos were 
following a certain structure. So I came up with, you know, I want I had challenge mode, chasing platinum, and then, you know, a random video on the Wednesdays. That was kind of my my plan. And that you know, I mapped out my videos for what is that drum kit I hear? What is that music? Dope. Um, yeah, so I had I had it, you know, pretty mapped out, and um, you know, I did one challenge video, and oh shoot, I did one challenge video, one a couple Hitman Roulette videos, and a Chasing Platinum one, and I kind of realized like. There was no real rhyme. Oh my god, no real rhyme or reason to anything I was doing, and I just kind of figured uh, that's kind of when I decided to add the whole gambling element to it. I figured, it, hey, if if I'm obsessed with gambling as much as I am, and I want to find something that keeps me where every video is sort of linked in a way where like every video is important, I wanted to add basically an element to the challenges where you know what happens if you fail the challenge you just fail the video and that's it it seemed kind of kind of like a waste so that's why I kind of came up with this and I think uh, I'm, I'm starting later than I wanted I wanted to have this I, I would have wanted to have this laid out at the beginning of the the calendar year but this is a good opportunity to just use this week as a uh, the rest of January basically just as a a trial run and see if this is going to work out long term. Oh my god, this is actually not looking good at all now. I my god, I'm I'm a hit away from from losing. I don't have anything that can give me health without taking damage, right? And god knows the womb is trash, so all it takes is one hit and I'm toast. Please. Knowing me, I'm going to lose to one of these little freaking nerds. Is that a tinted rock? No, it's not. Okay. No. This is awful. Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. I hated having to use that. Um... This sucks. Oh, shoot. Okay, I can give this guy coins. And I can murder this guy. Sick. Alright, give me something good, dog. I think he gives you an HP upgrade. Yes! Okay, sweet. What's this? Lock down. Oh. No. Okay, now this buys us a bit of of leeway. Hopefully if we take a hit, we'll get a a demon heart. Hopefully we just won't get hit. Oh, please. All right. Nothing. I don't have a lot of bombs, but I do want to check for a second secret room. Please. No. Okay. Hey, the knockback. Okay. Contract from below. You're not helping. Um, I need one. I need to get my uh my full charge here. Oh shit. Okay. All right. All right. That was okay. Okay. Sweet. Yes. Okay. Sweet. 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 Should I finish off the floor? Oi, I almost walked onto the spikes. Man, I really need like one more HP here to feel good. This level has taken the wind out of my sails. No tinties, huh? Alright, please. This is such a slow ass run, man. Um, okay. 
Oh, I'm sick. I'm kind of toast here. Um. All right, we gotta fight the boss. It's probably the worst, the worst boss we could have fought. Thankfully, man, it's gonna turn out that uh. Oh. That uh, that freaking. I can't even talk. The the battery was probably our best. Our best item yet, man. What is happening? No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Mother flipper. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that hurts, man. That hurts. Shoot. Okay. So I guess Friday's episode is actually going to mean uh, more than I thought. Okay. Well, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me talk about nothing for, you know, 45 minutes. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you on Friday. Update a balance now. I think we're in the negative, man. We're in the negative. Huge. And I think I'm going to change the uh, the wheel, the odds wheel. I think we're going to make it so if you get three to one, it's not three to one. It's uh, you lose. It's three times the wager as well. Uh, but we'll think about that. All right. Catch you guys later. Peace.